3D Hippo Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a very cute little hippo that has its mouth open and you can see the teeth. It's just, it's so cute and fairly simple and I just hope you guys like it as much as I do. And there is a Melody Minutes at the end of this video so if you want to see more of this cute little thing, check for that and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm going to begin with an overlay of a sheer blue acrylic, and this color I have been using a lot recently. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, and maybe it's in videos I haven't uploaded quite yet, more than I'm aware of, but it's just such a perfect background for anything aquatic, is to have just a very watery blue background. I absolutely love that. So anyways, after that's done, I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is built up to the thickness that I want and nice and strong. And after all of that, I'm going to be filing it into shape with my e-file. I started out with a fairly coarse bit to remove any bulk. And then I used a finer bit to make it easier to work on top of. And just in general, that makes your art turn out that much better. So now I'm going to take gray acrylic and I'm going to start sculpting my hippo's body. So the first layer I have here is just going to be a kind of a squashed circle. So it's not really a circle, but kind of a rounded trapezoid. I can keep trying to explain the shape or you guys can just watch it and figure that out. But after you have that shape done, I'm going to take the belly of my brush and I'm going to press out the very top of it. That's going to start out the mouth area that I will get to in just a minute. But having that little base creates a really nice start for your mouth. Then still using your gray acrylic, I'm going to add the little arms of my hippo. The legs are behind the belly, so you don't really see the legs, the back legs of your hippo. So if you want to, you can have them sticking out the sides. I decided not to go that far off the nail, so I kept it just as it is. I added a little bit of light pink acrylic into that area that I had flattened of the belly. So you can just fill that area in fairly quick and easy. Then I'm going to add a second layer to my hippo and create the chest. So hippos have rolls of flubber and skin, so I'm going to do that here. So just add a second layer of acrylic for that chest area. And then I'm going to thicker, thicken up his lower lip. So take a fairly wet bead of, once again, gray acrylic and just stretch that right around the jaw, right around that mouth area. And then after you have that done, you get to start the really fun part of this and you get to start sculpting her face. And so I'm going to begin with the very top of her forehead and just create a nice rounded shape. It doesn't really have to be anything too crazy. You don't have to take that all the way down to the mouth because now we're going to be adding her cheeks. So with two fairly large circles, I'm going to be adding her two cheeks just like so. And you want those to rest right on top of where the mouth is. So you don't want to really cover up much of your mouth. You want your hippo to have a nice open mouth so you can really see her smile. But you do want to make sure that there's not a gap either. Add her little ears right on the top of her head with two small beads of gray acrylic, pressing them out just like you would if you were to be making a petal for a flower. So just set the bead down and then use the tip of your brush to push in the middle. And then I'm going to be adding another layer of acrylic to her cheeks to make them extra kind of rounded and bulgy. Just add a little bit more like that to one side and then to the other, just like so. Smooth them down on the side so you can't tell that it's two different areas or two different beads that are stacked on top for the cheeks. And then I'm going to be adding her nostrils. So basically identical to her ears, place one bead down, then the other, then press it out just like it's a flower petal, just like that. And then I'm going to be adding her teeth. So I'm going to be doing her teeth with white. So just set that little bead of white acrylic down and then form them into little squares or rectangles your lower teeth and her upper teeth and you can do them either order it really doesn't matter which one you which one you do first there you go now I'm going to take black paint and I'm going to begin my outlining when you're doing outlining on any kind of a character like this you might want to keep in mind that if you dilute your paint just slightly it's going to give your paint it's going to thin it out for one thing which makes the outlines a little bit easier but it's also going to make it that your lines aren't quite as dramatic not quite as harsh and sometimes you want them to be very dramatic and you don't want that to that diluted look, but sometimes on, you know, you don't want it to be quite that, that harsh. I'm going to be adding outlines pretty much all over my hippo, outlining her teeth and her mouth and her nostrils, ears, belly lines, arms, legs, whole, whole thing. So just keep going and add different things. Add three little polka dots on each cheek for where her whiskers would be. Outline her eyes. So just add two little lines, just like so. For where those will be, you can add more details to her eyes in just a minute. 
I'm going to highlight her teeth with a layer of white paint just to brighten them up and then fill in her eyes with white. And you don't have to fill in the entire eye, but just fill in where the white will be. And then I added a couple toenails on each of her front legs for her feet, then fill in the rest of the eye with black. So there's just a sliver of that white showing. And then after you have that done, add a little line down the center of her cheeks to separate them. Add a little white highlight in her eyes. And you can add as much detail as you want. You can give her eyelashes or eyebrows or what have you. You can keep going as much as you'd like. Then apply some gel sealer over the background, cure that, and some matte top coat over your hippo. And she is all done. Animal designs always make me happy. And I hope you guys like her as much as I do. And here is the Melody Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Melody, what is your face? I hope you guys like this design as much as I do and please take me in any recreations I would love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!